Hello, Mr. Canelo. Thank you for talking with us today on Shields Healthcare's use for MRI. Shields is the number one provider for New England MRIs. So what's your position at Shields? Well, Addison, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, Shields Healthcare is the largest independent MRI provider in New England. And we've been around since uh, 86, 1986. We have over 30 imaging centers in Massachusetts and New Hampshire and, and soon to be in the Maine. My position at Shields is uh, that of a physician service manager. So my main charge is to be able to go out and talk to physicians and clients about our MRI services and what we have to offer from a service advantage standpoint, as well as how we can help provide accessible, affordable MRI services to patients, physicians, and to companies throughout New England. You are the official provider for the Boston sports teams, such as the Patriots, Celtics, Bruins, and Revolution. So tell us how MRI has diagnosed injuries in professional athletes. Well, MRI is an exquisite tool for looking at inside the body in general, and not just professional athletes, of course, but people of, uh, of all spectrums in the healthcare arena. Uh, it has especially high utility in looking at musculoskeletal injuries, so the cartilage, the ligaments, the soft tissue injuries, bone bruise, uh, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, elbow, essentially any joint that you can think uh, in the body that potentially could get injured, uh, MRI is usually the first line diagnostic to be able to find out what's going on and, and to what level of severity. What role can MRI play in figuring out if a patient has a head injury? Well, MRI is useful for being able to see if there's any bleeds in the brain uh, after a, a traumatic brain injury. Uh, and concussion is a mild form of a traumatic brain injury. Uh, and MRI has the very distinct ability to be able to look at anatomy as well as physiology. So we can look at the brain parenchyma. Uh, we can also look at uh, diffusion or how well water moves from one area of the brain to the other on a diffusion weighted imaging sequence. But there's three advantages that MRI has over a, a generic uh, clinical MRI uh, that we do specifically for a mild traumatic brain injury study. And that is looking at a susceptibility weighted area that looks at micro hemorrhages, thinking the concussion is a shearing injury. So when the player is hit, their head jolts forward and backwards very quickly. And there's two different densities of the brain tissue that move at different rates after a concussion. Uh, the technique in MRI, it's purported that this will eventually be able to show uh, whether or not there's been a micro hemorrhage in, in that particular area where the player was hit. Uh, the second technique is called a volumetric analysis where we look at the brain in very thin high resolution slices in a three-dimensional acquisition and then we're able to estimate the volumes of the brain in various areas of neuroanatomy. Uh, the third technique, which probably shows the most promise, is something called diffusion tensor imaging. Diffusion tensor imaging allows us to use the MRI machinery to be able to construct images of the white track matter from the top of the brain all the way down through the base of the brain. And because concussion is a shearing injury, we can see those fibers being sheared at a point where the injury was uh, incurred the most. Lastly, before we go, what other imaging will play a role in diagnosing a concussion? Well, in addition to MRI, there's a technique called PET-CT positron emission tomography that has more potential, more promise than MRI. Uh, mainly because we can look at radioactive tracers that distribute throughout the brain and look at areas of, of plaque accumulation in the case of amyloid plaque, which is a neurodegenerative disease detector. Uh, but in, in the advanced forms of concussion, the so-called chronic traumatic encephalopathy, uh, there are tau proteins. And now we have radio tracers that are specifically targeting those tau proteins. Thank you very much for your time.